teachers are the pillars of the nation, as everyone knows. Teachers are the nation builders. And teachers are everything for every society. But then, 
on request basis and on the requirement basis, time and again, the teachers from the private institutions also have been chipping in. Even to the extent of having uh, polling stations, there are many, I think 90% of the polling stations are against schools, which not only not include the government institutions, but as well as the private institutions, colleges and government offices as well. Now, with changing times, I think the growth, uh, I, I mean the changes that we see among generation, earlier people used to say the generational gap used to be from say one parentage to his uh, subsequent offspring. But now I would say the generation gap is narrowing because so much changes in technology, our behaviors, things which are happening around us, infrastructure changes which are happening around us, this all affects the life, the lifestyle that we are living, living, the society in which we are living and the society's behavioral changes also have underwent a lot of change due to these, uh, due to these frequent uh, uh, developments, I would say, which is happening around us. And in that, I think the role of the teachers have become very, very important again. Especially, as we know, the child, especially in their teens and in their adolescence, are at a very, very tender age. And now, with social media, with availability of phones, tabs, laptops, and the information, all good and bad, is very readily available. So I think the role of teachers become very, very important to mentor our students. And I think earlier, there were things which we were not able to discuss with our teachers. There always used to be that wheel between the students and the teachers. I think that wheel has to be removed, whether it be sex education, whether it be things related to drugs, whether it be about one's own human body, I think the teachers need to take the lead and be more vocal and open to the student. So that whatever inquisitiveness the children have, they, it's, it's uh, resolved and the query is answered in a more scientific and a practical way. I think that becomes very, very important. Because sometimes parents, even though they may want to, but they are not able to take this lead in the homes. So I think that becomes very, very important in the institution to be very frank and fair with the students so that they also get a realistic uh, picture about these things. And uh, especially in Nagaland, uh, if you see the uh, scenario of uh, consumption of tobacco, cigarettes, drugs for that matter had also been slowly increasing. And then again, I, I believe every school have those uh, eco clubs or those clubs again uh, uh, campaign against drugs and tobacco. But then, again, that psychological uh, mentoring becomes a prime responsibility of the teachers. Because the students are generally seen that uh, children generally opens up more with teachers as compared to their own parents and even siblings as well. So, I request and urge that maybe every, uh, if not for every week, every fortnightly, the head of the institutions may have a review with the, uh, with the, uh, with the teachers and devise different, different uh, mechanisms, whether it be debates or through other ice-breaking sessions, where, the, where this message of uh, uh, this uh, tobacco control program and the fight against drugs can be carried deeper, uh, in, especially at the tender age. Uh, because once that message, the ill effects of drugs and tobacco, it reaches our students, I think the future seems to be secure. And it becomes very, very contingent upon the teachers and the institutions guide and mold our children and give them the real picture that if uh, they fell prey to these evils, I think uh, the world is doomed uh, uh, in front of the children for them. So that again becomes a very, very important uh, role beside the academics. Coming to the academics again, the, uh, the curriculum and the pedagogy has changed tremendously and especially nobody was expecting when COVID happened. Nobody would have thought that uh, there will be a system of online classes and of course it was marked with many challenges especially in a uh, uh, state like Nagaland where the infrastructure especially in the remote districts is still catching up. But then again all our teachers with their resource constraints they tried their best and uh, to an extent I would say the online classes during those tough uh, Covid days were also successful. And uh, I think uh, Slowly, the teachers also need to be more open to changes. They need to upgrade themselves. Of course, sometimes the government, for the government institutions, they have refresher training programs. 
but then we may not always depend upon those training teams uh, because so many online courses are also available which are all free of cost and actually these are not the boring exercises where you have to uh, read some material but then th these are in, uh, involving uh, tasks where you have to uh, 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 prepare a project or a project is there you have to give some instinctive answers to that so I think these things also we should not be reluctant to change we should be more uh, 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 open to such changes and be more focused on these things as well. So this is also one one of my earliest requests to all the teachers who are here. For the school education scenario in Nagaland, especially the government institutions, we know that the things are not uh, very rosy at the moment. I think today we may have read in the papers also where uh, our rebel uh, advisor also was giving not a very healthy picture of the department and it is, a, it is a very good thing I would say to call the spade a spade where actually we know what things are going wrong. Very recently in all the districts and in uh, Dimapur as well we have had the teacher attendance monitoring uh, system where physically all the teachers had to come identify their biometrics so that in future this menace of proxy teaching also is controlled. I think it is a very very good initiative. Uh, by bringing in technology to check to those non-serious teachers who have been who have been uh, taking uh, the refuge under this so noble profession known as teachers and when they are not serving at, uh, uh, as duly mandated by the rules regulations. So I think teaching is a very very serious profession it is not like any other job it is not a normal sit back relax 9 to 3, 9 to 4 job. We are dealing with human beings, it's actually the teacher is a human resource manager. So we have uh, CEOs and CFOs in corporates, we have teachers who are HRs in the institutions. So I, I would say that if anybody who wants to join the profession just for an easy 9 to 4 job and will get one month of winter break, one month of summer break and three days of puja break, I think uh, things are changing and it's a wrong profession to be. Unless and until people are committed, until and, uh, until and unless people actually want to uh, mold the children into better human beings as an asset for the society, I think as uh, our uh, uh, Reverend Moses also said that challenge, the challenges which are there, I think uh, it's tremendous. We, we don't know it's, uh, it's with our lifestyle and things happen like two years back COVID happened. We don't know what's in offering for the next year. So, Things are bound to happen, challenges are bound to be there, but uh, I think all our teachers are brave enough, they are bold enough, they are qualified enough to take these challenges in the right earnest and uh, whatever uh, adverse circumstances they may face, I think uh, they have been delivering and also keep delivering in the future also. Today we have uh, the teachers who are awarded as, uh, as, uh, as district awardees for, the best, uh, for their uh, uh, untiring services throughout the decades, I would say. We generally, there is a district review, uh, district level board which sits for selection of uh, 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 this, this, these districts awards and at the state level as, as well. Of course, we want to select many more, but then uh, there are some uh, numbers which are kept by the department as well. And it does not mean that only those teachers who have received the awards are the ones only who are doing the uh, doing the noble service. There are all the other teachers who, who are also in the same line but then this is just to motivate the people and also recognize people who have actually walked the extra mile. It's always good to recognize those services and this will I believe further motivate people. And uh, I hope that all the other teachers may take the uh, inspiration from them. And uh, uh, these are very very important times that we are living in, especially for the state of Nagaland. We are still a very young state and slowly, slowly for the past decade and 15 years, peace has returned to the state and I think this is a very, very important time. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaka Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter and Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.